this month at Sotheby's. Dazzling Jewels in Geneva, a music executive's modern masterpieces, the best of photography. All this and more coming up. Welcome to This Month at Sotheby's. I'm Kelsey Leonard. We have another taste for you of some of the exciting events happening around the globe at Sotheby's. Let's start in New York, where a fascinating private collection is coming to auction, along with the marquee sales that we are very excited about. I sat down with Allegra Bettini to talk about single owner sales and everything else that's coming up. So what makes a single owner collection so special? It really allows Sotheby's to tell the story, to invite our clients into this collecting world mm -hmm. of a specific individual. And you know, this season we're doing it with the Mo Austin collection. Mm -hmm. Mo Austin was a legendary record producer, real icon of the recording industry. Absolutely. And he had an incredible ear for music, but an equally unerring eye for art. And I think the other interesting thing about a single owner collection is that oftentimes this property has been held off of the mm -hmm. market for decades. So it means it's incredibly fresh, it's rare to see, and I always think that clients are excited by accessing something they haven't been able to in the past. So in addition to the Austin collection, we have some very exciting various owner marquee sales coming up. Uh, can you tell me about a couple of things you're very excited about in the modern evening sale? It's hard to choose because it's a really incredible sale mm -hmm. and we've put together incredible masterworks from the late 19th through early 20th century and also are excited to be offering a masterpiece by Rubens as well in the context mm. of the modern sale. We also have highlights by artists like Gustav Klimt, Vincent van Gogh, Pablo Picasso, Alberto Giacometti, just to name a few. And it's a very well-rounded sale. It's something that we're really excited to be putting to the market this season and can't wait to have our exhibitions open very soon. When does that exhibition open for everyone at home? It opens on Saturday, May 6th. You also have a pretty big sale coming up, I right? I do indeed, thank you. I'm particularly excited about one highlight that we just announced yesterday, which is our oh, yeah. monumental bourgeois spider coming from a cultural foundation in Brazil at 30 to 40 million. That's really a very special thing and one of only four monumental spiders to ever come to auction. So a wow. real market moment that we're excited to be presenting. Are there a lot of them also in museum collections? Most uh, monumental spiders are in museums, including the Tate, Guggenheim Bilbao, really all over the world. But um, luckily this one is ours for a little bit, so. Sounds Very like excited. an incredible opportunity. I think so. Now, let's turn it over to Brad Nelson. As many of us look forward to summer holidays, this month we're headed to the French Riviera, where my colleagues at Côte d'Azur Sotheby's International Realty are offering exclusively for sale the historic Domaine de Beaumont. This provincial property was built in 1920 on top of a wooded hill by a noted French architect. But what makes it most famous is not the magnificent interiors or its panoramic view all the way to the sea, but it's its provenance, as this is the property where the former American president, John F. Kennedy, spent his childhood summer holidays when his father was the U.S. ambassador to Great Britain. Located just 30 minutes from the Nice airport and 15 minutes from the beaches of Cannes, this incredible historic estate can now be yours for 31.5 million euros. To see more of this home, or to search for your perfect summer holiday retreat, visit us at sotheby'srealty.com. May is one of the biggest months of the year for auctions. Here's a quick preview of two more sales to look forward to. When it comes to photography collections, the Polara families is considered second to none. Housed at San Francisco's Pier 24, the collection is making its way to New York for a monumental event that kicks off with an evening sale May 1st. The collection features some of the most celebrated images ever shot by the most renowned photographers of the 20th century, including those such as Dorothea Lange, Hiroshi Sujimoto, and Richard Avedon. Exhibitions begin on May 12th for the start of Geneva's Luxury Week and the auction of magnificent and noble jewelry. These dazzling items incorporate works of Van Cleef & Arpel, Cartier, Bulgari, and many more designers with some of the stars including the nearly 22 carat fancy intense pink diamond and a brilliant 52 and a half carat ring by Harry Winston. 
Now to London for Tim Marlowe's Museum Show of the Month. Few artists span the range from popular to critical and curatorial taste like Vincent van Gogh. And although there have been exhibitions that pander superficially to popular taste, three opening this month look set to enhance our understanding of the great Dutch painter. Van Gogh and the avant-garde at the Art Institute of Chicago takes the modern landscape as the central subject and looks at how the artist, along with Seurat, Signac, Emile Bernard and others, turn their attention from the modern life of urban Paris to wrestling with the countryside around the French capital, with a formal inventiveness that set the tone for the development of modernism over the next few decades. Meanwhile, at the Met in New York, Van Gogh's flame-like evergreens, his wondrous cypresses, will be presented with all their evocative resonance, from the religious connotation of trees in graveyards to the backdrop of his incarceration at the asylum in Saint-Rémy. And finally, the unsurpassable Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, name me a better museum devoted to a single artist anywhere, will celebrate its own 50th anniversary with an exhibition delving deep into the final months in Auvergne of Van Gogh's tragically shortened life. Thank you for watching this month at Sotheby's. If you would like to learn more about these stories, click the links below or visit sotheby's.com slash this month. I'm Kelsey Leonard, and we look forward to seeing you here next month.